cream contour on forehead, cheekbones, jawline, sides of nose, eye crease, and other side. Blending from top to bottom, forehead, eyes, nose contour, eyebrows, set under eyes, the cheekbones, brown eyeshadow, nude eyeshadow, shadow wing, a pair of lashes, powder bronzer, blush. <laughs> Hey guys, we are going to do another reaction video. So this is going to be TikTok's makeup tricks and hacks of 2024. So let's get into it and let's see if you can do the challenge. Right, highlight blush contour. It looks kind of disconnected and you end up oh with a God. very highlighty so cheek right and a lower blush. Flawless. Instead, let's do the triangle of blush highlight in the middle of the contour. You get a more connected, natural, natural. lifted, glowy vibe instead of Have kind of a stripey situation oh God, on the other side. That's a new hat. No, 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 okay, so no. She's applying some concealer under her exactly. eyes, brow. Bow, chin, concealer on inner right corner, now. concealer on outer corner, brown together, and other side. Concealer below jawline, cream contour on forehead, cheekbones, jawline, sides of nose, eye crease, and other side. Blending from top to bottom, forehead, eyes, nose contour, under eyes, cheekbones, cupid's bow, chin, add a little bit of your foundation, blend everywhere. Some liquid blush, blend. Fill in eyebrows, set good. under eyes, the cheekbones, brown eyeshadow, nude eyeshadow, shadow wing, like a pair that. of lashes, really good. powder bronzer, blush, I remember I tried lip liner, this stick, before. and you're done, carved top. Yeah. 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 Take your fingers, okay? So these three the right here, and you're going to place highlighter. it right there. Contour right here. The middle one, we are going to use our blush. Towards and the, the last finger here is where the highlight and goes. That is going to look. Just like that. Start blending these all upwards. That actually looks good. I definitely would have to try that hat. Ooh, the red lipstick. I've done this one before. All over. This is genius. That looks really good on her. She killed that. The lipsticks. The lipsticks. Now, this is what I did last year of doing her. lovely i love that and it's so neat and detailed i love that oh cute i like that one all right makeup hacks to stop for separation i can't play because of the music in the background but this is like when i tell you guys when to be cakey so she's discussing water base and silicone base so the water base did her skin like that so her primer was silicone and her foundation was water based so it equal makeup separation so she's going to tell us how we know which one is silicone and water based so this one here is water based because it starts with water and it don't ends with the c-o-n e the cone so when they have cone or accent those are silicone based um, foundations water based products have water and glycerin which is true which the beauty supply store they have mostly do mostly all theirs are water based so no silicone mix oh oh I love that concealer look on the look that looks really good and natural by the way. Wow. I'm about to give you some new uh, lipstick. Ooh, the under eye. Let me see. Okay. 
That looks really good. That looks very natural. It's like you wouldn't even know she had dark circles. And then this one here. a cute little q-tip trick oh look at that oh my gosh the perfect eyeliner she make it so easy like I like that concealer hack that definitely looks good I love that. That was really good. And plain white eyeliner. Black eyeliner. No. Okay. That looked cute. No. 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 So no. This one here. You just have to take um, extra access. Exactly. Can Over applying setting powder can actually powder accentuate texture on so your skin. So instead, skin. when using a powder okay. puff, you want to swirl the product at the back of your hand to even it out. This will prevent the setting powder from looking patchy under your eyes, and it's going to give you more of a smooth finish. After applying the powder, use a fluffy brush to remove the excess powder yeah. under your eyes to give you more of a seamless finish. You never want to use a setting powder that is the same color as your skin to set your concealer. This type of powder should be used to set your foundation using a fluffy brush and you want to avoid the areas where you apply concealer for concealer use a shade that is lighter than your concealer again, this is going to make sure that you're not changing the color of your foundation and the color of your concealer when that using that a powder puff you want to avoid dragging the powder puff powder it's going to move the concealer so instead you want to pat it into your skin you so that the did concealer enjoy doesn't move don't apply your setting reaction. powder before uh, blending out don't these forget pieces. to please like share and subscribe and follow your girl on um, YouTube, if you want to see more makeup tips and tricks, I will see you guys in the next one. And um, let's get up to 12,000 subscribers and get them watch hours up. Thank you guys. Bye. I hope you did like my reaction makeup hacks video. If you guys want more as well before we go, please get this video up to 100 views. And then we will definitely do a part two. See you guys.